welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, I'm currently sitting here with no makeup on my face, and that is because I am going to film a first impression video for you all. So today's first impression is on this bad boy right here. It is the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation, and the color that I picked up is 150 Radiant Beige. I picked this up from Priceline for $31.95, I believe, which is a little pricey for a foundation, but the girl at the counter assured me that this is an excellent foundation, and she even color matched me to it as well, so I'm hoping this is the right color. If it's not, I'm going to be pretty upset. So if I just read the little blurb on the back of the foundation, it says it's a 24-hour just applied finish, 24-hour flawless complexion, no transfer, no visible imperfections, no visible shine, no dry out, and no mask effect. And it says it's it says it's enriched with hydrating hyaluron plus extreme hold pigments for optimum comfort. Now, when it comes to 24-hour foundations, I obviously don't feel the need to have a 24-hour lasting foundation because I typically don't wear my foundations for 24 hours, but I guess it is appealing to some that it can last for that long. So this product does also come with 30 mils, and I have to say the packaging is pretty nice too. It's just sleek and simple and durable, and of course it has a pump. Another thing that I forgot to mention about this is that it has an SPF of 18, so it's probably not going to be the best for um, special occasions where you'd be taking pictures with flash photography, so just keep that in mind when you're looking into getting this. So, I'm going to apply it, and uh, I've already applied a moisturizer, but I am going to apply a primer because even though I'm testing out the longevity and wear of the foundation, I will always wear a primer no matter what, so I'm just going to put a primer on anyway. And the one that I'm using is, yeah, you guessed it, the Face of Australia Face Base Primer because that is the only one that I ever really use because it works so well for me. Okay, so now that my primer is on, I'm going to take the Real Techniques buffing brush. Yeah, the Real Techniques buffing brush, and I'm just going to apply it to my face with this in a stippling motion, and then I'm going to buff it in. Um, I just find this is a really good all-round foundation brush. It works pretty well with any kind of foundation. So, oh my gosh, I just took the cap off and it literally flanked across the room. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to take a pump, just one pump, on my hand because... Oh, this is the part where I have to wait for it to come out because I didn't open it yet. Okay, so that's about one pump and I'm just going to take that on my brush and then apply it to my face. I should probably get a mirror. Okay, it doesn't really have a smell. It has a little bit of a smell but like nothing too significant that it's like get this off my face. So yeah, it's pretty good so far. Um, it's not too runny, but it's not super thick as well, which is good because I hate thick foundations because it's really hard to blend them out. And I think the colour is pretty good as well. Now this particular colour that I have is very, very yellow based, so um, that's good for me, but I know it might not be good for those of you who have neutral neutral or pink undertone skin, but for me, my skin is very yellow, so it works pretty well for my skin tone. I think it's a little bit too dark, but as you can see, I have a horrible tan line going on, so it's like too dark for this part, but it matches my shoulders. I really need to get on tanning the rest of my body. <laughs> okay, I just have a little bit left. I don't really like to put too much foundation on my forehead because Compared to the rest of my face, my forehead's pretty dark. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me. And I found that it doesn't really need that much foundation up there, so... I mean, I do take whatever's left on my brush or on my hand and blend it up there, but... I just feel like I don't really need as much on my forehead. Okay, so I have the foundation on now, and it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel cakey or anything like that. Uh, I like the finish of it, it reminds me of the True Match finish, kind of, and um, I really do like it so far, but we'll have to see how it holds up. It doesn't feel heavy or sticky or anything like that. I just think that maybe it's a little bit too orange-yellow, like too orange toned for me. I love foundations with a yellow undertone, but it's kind of got that 
orange undertone going on which is okay we'll see how it looks once I finish applying the rest of my face makeup which I'm going to do now so I will be back in a second all right so I have finished the rest of my face makeup and I think Doing the rest of my face has balanced out the look of the foundation really well, but the only thing that's throwing it off for me personally is the fact that um, I'm two different colours, like my chest is lighter than my shoulders and my arms, and that's only because I have a strange singlet tan. But the foundation itself, um, it's actually settled really nicely onto my skin so far. I've only had it on for like 20 minutes, but I really, really like the look of it, and I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. Um, it's currently, if I can get this up, it's currently nearly 9.30 in the morning and I'm just going out to run a couple of errands throughout the day. So I will check back with you guys when I'm able to, just to give you some updates on how the foundation is holding up. So I will see you soon. Hi, I'm back and it is currently just about to be 2pm so it's been four and a half hours since I applied the foundation. Um... It's been really hot today, I've been sweating and oiling up, I know that for sure because this weather is just something. So I haven't touched it up or anything like that and I forgot to tell you guys that I did not set it with a setting spray because I did want to see how it lasted without a setting spray. So um, it has kind of settled a little bit into my natural expression lines like around here or on my mouth but for me that's inevitable inevitable because I have always had that issue when it comes to foundations it's never not going to settle settle into my natural expression lines but other than that it has held up pretty well it does look a little bit shiny but I'm not too phased by it because I do have a very oily skin type and it's held my blush and highlight and contour pretty well as well. So far I can say that I'm pretty pleased with the way it is turning out for me. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it lasts a little longer and I will come back to you guys at the end of the day. Alright, so it is now 5.30 in the afternoon and I just woke up from a nap so I'm sorry if I appear to be a little bit disoriented and um, drowsy it's because I literally just woke up from a nap um, but the foundation has held up so well I'm really really happy with it honestly I think this is going to be something that I could replace my true match with not that I will but it's right up there with the true match so um, it has come off in places because I fell asleep on the couch and I was just sleeping on a pillow so um, it has come off in those places but other than that everywhere else it's held up really well it still held my contour like my bronzer and my blush pretty well it has bunched up around my mouth again which is I expected that anyway I also forgot to say earlier when I applied it that um, it's covered all my blemishes really well as, as well not that I really had many but I did have one um, here and I can barely tell that it's even underneath so I'm really happy with its coverage um, yeah I'm, I'm absolutely impressed with that, this foundation I honestly the sales girl at Priceline was right when she said this is a good one so I'm really happy that I did pick it up um, I must say though that $31.95 for a drugstore foundation is quite pricey for me like I don't know, I just wouldn't expect to pay that much, but it is L'Oreal, and over here L'Oreal is considered to be a little bit higher than the rest, I suppose, but um, if you can get it on sale, definitely snatch it up when it's on sale, because that would be a good time to buy it. So my overall thoughts for this foundation are nothing but good. I absolutely love it, and I'm really happy that I did go ahead and purchase it. If you can get it on sale, it would be even better, but... Like I said, retail price is $31.95 and for those of you who might be the same or near the same colour as me, um, $150 Radiant Beige is equivalent to True Match's W4 Golden Naturals. So that's for all of you who are looking for colour references, that's what this one equals to. They don't look exactly the same in the bottle but once on, it's it matches pretty good. So I'm happy to say that this foundation has lived up to my expectations. Given that the weather here is really hot and it's just inevitable that, that um, I'm going to experience like oiliness and all of that, I think it would be awesome for those of you in winter or in not such a hot climate because for me personally I don't wear foundation during the summer 
because it's just too hot for it here but I think it's absolutely incredible and I'm really 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 happy with it and I also love the packaging can we just say like it's just so simple pretty compact and I love that it comes with a pump Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. If you have tried it or you are wanting to try it, please leave your comments down below and I'll be more than happy to reply to you because I love talking to you guys down there. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Take care.